This is ECU E38 on the back side, and I'm going to talk about using the canvas method to clone an ECU E38. Here I have uh, two files from a good copy. They use the BDM to read it. So I have a, the two megabytes of the flash read from here, as well as the uh, slave being read by the BDM. Now, in order to program through the canvas to the slave, you cannot directly uh, use this file. You have to uh, make your own separation for the file. I need to use the Unicant T to uh, generate those two files. So here, I'm going to go to the slave here and select the copy, say E38 video, and in the copy folder, and I have the slave file here loaded. So I'm going to load the slave file. And once I load the slave file, I need to save the slave OS and the slave uh, system cal. So I select this tab here, this tab of slave OS. I save it. And this is slave OS and system cal. I will save it. So now on this folder, you can see there's slave OS and system cal. Um, here is the version 1262.5862. By the way, uh, for each VIN number, there is a website uh, here. The website is called SPS Info. So here is the website. And for the VIN number, you can punch in the VIN number, which I can find from here. I can rename this thing. And this is the VIN number. I can get in the VIN number and get the data. So I'm going to talk about the ECM and then click next. Uh, I'm normal mode. And you can find which slave OS can be used. So check this one. And these are the slave OS. I think one of the OS matches this here, which is the seventh one. One, two, six, two, five, uh, eight, nine, two. This is the slave OS it comes from. Um, okay, we have created those two files. Now I'm going to go to the uh, canvas, so E38, uh, canvas instead of here. And for the connection, I click this button. So now I can see the connection here. The connection here is, this is the ground. I'm going to use the clip to clip on the ground. And those two pins are on 12 volt from this power source. And the can high and can low connected to this board, can high and can low. Now here is the MCP2515 board, and this is the jumper place. Uh, someone played the resistor on this one. This is not right. This is, if you jump this on, then you are add a 120 ohm resistor to the CAN bus line. Uh, since this is ECU, it has internally 120 ohm resistance already, and add one here. So the measurement between those two will be 60 ohms. So let's use the, the this is the um, multimeter and you connect those two. You will see about 61, 60 ohms. Uh, if not, then this will not work. So uh, either for, in the case of the TCU, sometimes you need to add one additional 120 ohm on those two sides. You cannot add uh, from here, okay? So just make sure when you measure the can high and can low, this is 60 ohms. Now the connection for the unique to NT to the MCP board is, um, th these are just SPI pins. In the software here, you will see here, SI, SO, SCK, CS, and ground. Now the only thing you need to be aware of is this power board, this board needs five volt to work. This is because of the transceiver needs five volt. Um, 
I have modified the Unicam T to get the 5 volt out of it. If you cannot get 5 volt from the Unicam T, you can get from the uh, this power source here 5 volt, but you make sure the ground also need to connect to this ground. If you only connect the 5 volt to here, that ground it will not work. But here I have the ground pin from the Unicam T and the 5 volt from the uh, the USB here. So click in, plug on, and then power on the ECU. You can click this button here, say read ECU. And you can see the VIN number here. Uh, if you can go VIN number and uh, the programming date as well as the hardware marriage. So this is a bad one, this bad ECU. These, some information are not good. I'm going to clone the, this ECU to the file we I know is good. So let's see, select the folder to be copy. So video here and we're going to copy. So first we load the flash. So load the flash is the flash two megabyte. And then I'm going to write it. I do not need to read this one. So I'm going to write this flash and click yes. So once you see the debug on, it will start erase and program. Program passed. Uh, the Unicam T can program at the speed about 28 kilobyte per second. It will take only one minute and 24 seconds to program the entire flash. Uh, to be safe uh, under the auto verify, after program we auto verify this uh, entire chip. Uh, it's uh, an extra step to make sure you have a good clone. Uh, if not, then we, can we still have time to fix this thing. The read time of the two megabyte on this board probably take about one minute and six seconds or something like that. It's about 33 kilobyte per second read. Okay, one minute and three seconds, the programming passed. So now we have completely cloned the master. Now we can power off the ECU and then power back on. Let's take, wait a few seconds. Then you can read the ECU info and you can take a look at this ECU has been modified. The VIN number is modified. Uh, everything else is modified, even the marriage here available. You know, this old ECU does not have the marriage. The new one has the marriage here, as well as the programming date is a little bit older and some other informations here. So now I'm going to program the slave through the canvas. Uh, to do that one, I need to power, um, you don't need to power the ECU. So go here and Config say E38 uh, canvas slave. Click OK, and I want to select the folder to go up the copy here. So here is my uh, folder to store the modified slave OS as well as the system cal. So I'm going to power on the. And this one says load, load slave files. It will automatically load the slave OS as well as system cal. Now slave OS has a special header on it. Um, in case you, you get the slave OS from the BDM readout as I did, so we can load slave files or need, need to load twice. So load here, it says select the slave OS file. So here is the file and then it will say uh, slave OS file again. So read twice, twice, and then load the system cal file. So system cal file here. So this way you can see 
it is um, all loaded data and now the you need to power on the ECU after 10 seconds then you can start program the slave so here I say program flash and ask it to confirm yes I do and it enter the debugger on and then it will set the system cal as well as the uh, slave OS both at the same time and this was done so now this ECU is completely cloned uh, I'm going to power off and on again and power off let's go to the canvas here get it on and let's read it you see last time when we read the the, the uh, info these 9 and 10 module are not available because this is, this represents the slave OS and now it's fully programmed 